Champion of Champions tournament brings together 16 of the world's very best players, all of whom have qualified through success in ranking events. World champions, from the senior title holder to the current champion, tour title holders and the defending champion are amongst the lineup. The tournament is underway. Four groups of four players battling for a place in the semi-finals. Two groups have been decided. Group three is now underway and the big news here is that the current world champion Mark Williams is out to Kyron Wilson. As to who he'll play, that's about to be decided as Judd Trump and Luca Brassell clash. The Belgian overshadowed by his rival in every department, but the format is short and Brassell will have been inspired by the performance of Wilson, who won in similar circumstances. Thank you, the first frame. Judd Trump to break. Commentary from Phil Yates and Neil Folds. Every meeting between these two in the past has been one-sided. In fact, four of their five meetings have resulted in whitewashes. The new slim line, Luca Brassell. Lost a lot of weight. Trying to re-establish himself as a tournament winning force. Yes, no pun intended, but he has had a lean time of things. And I think I really like to see him get his game back. I like his style a lot. As I do the man at the table, Judd Trump. What a player. Well, it was um, a heavy One. contact into the bunch of reds there. And they can go anywhere over the hole, in this case, in the hole. I mean, it can be a very dangerous way of playing a shot like that. This is dangerous too. What a shot. Goodness me. Doesn't feel guilty about a fluke, does he? Rightly so. Well, over Five. the course of a career, you have enough bad luck against you. So why should you feel aggrieved for your opponent if you get some good luck? Six. Brussel would love to replicate what he did against Trump in the first round of this event 12 months ago. Not just that 4-0 win, but the way it was achieved. He won in less than an hour, making breaks of 105. 103 and 87. 12. <laughs> 13. One thing about Luca Bussell 12 months ago, as you say, he was on a crest of a wave. He, was, he just won his first ranking event. He was buzzing. But since then, it's not been quite so straightforward. <laughs> now he's had, he had cue problems, lots of them. And that can... 20. Drive a player up the wall, actually. He's a very gifted snooker player. 21. And he's still young. Yeah. A game that is dominated by players in their 30s and some of them well into their 40s. Now, the negative there... He's hemmed in the 26. black, but at least the balls are beautifully open. 27. He's a bit of a chancy player. In other words, he, he, you know, he went into them there. He didn't really think, overly think about the outcome, which means you can get good luck and bad luck if you're a player like that. Cubal often just runs around the table a bit loose. But when everything clicks, he can really put together some quite scintillating snooker.
33. Thirty-four. <coughs> there you see again, that was not with the most control you'll ever see. Maybe on the middle red. which may only just go, it's a little bit tight in there, all round. Red up the table to the left middle is obviously on, but he's more interested in this red. 41. Got to play a recovery shot here through bulk. See a few players hit bolt colours this week in this different table. But not Luca, that was really nicely done. And that's the best shot he's hit. 46. Yeah, this is unlucky there. I know he got in off a fluke, so he has to remember that, but that shot, he played really well and he's over a ball. Almost. Forty-seven. Well, unless the arm is chanced, that's end of break. But he's taking on the black. Oh. No hesitation. No jaw. Hit right into the heart of the pocket. Well, he's an unconventional player. Fifty-four. Many a player, I think, with his lead might have thought about not chanting his arm, as you were saying. It's not really how he thinks. That's why he's always nice to see and watch him play. 55. There were times, particularly towards the end of last season, when he was bereft of confidence. But that's clearly not the case now. It's the opposite. That was a good shot, the way he struck that pink to the middle with the lovely cannon. It's a pretty eventful break. 61. Started with a fluke, it's gone all round the houses. 62. And he has been criticised for having a very good cue ball, but when you pop like he does, it doesn't quite matter so much, does it? 68. A small 69. sample, yes, but right now this is exactly like the match last year. Luca Brassel, 69 on the frame. Judd Trump concedes, needing three snookers, helped by an outrageous fluke, and then the 69 break that was forthcoming. And Luca Bissell leads 1-0. Welcome back to Coventry and the second match in Group 3 of the Champion of Champions. It's Judd Trump up against Luca Brussel. Trump already on the scoreboard, but it's Brussel at the table. Commentary from Phil Yates and Neil Folds. These two, of course, are not in it, having won anything in the last years. In the case of Luca, he won the China Championship. Obviously, European Masters, Judd won, so you're kind of only going to get ranked highly if you are a winner, albeit not that recently. The older players, the class of 92, had quite a stranglehold on last season and on the last year's play, didn't they, since the last Champion of Champions? Well, we had a, a string of tournaments. It's a, a really busy tournament schedule, and yet it produced only 12 winners. So consequently, the other four places in the tournament had to be filled off the rankings quite correctly. And Brussel and Trump were two of the beneficiaries. If the two reds are touching, then he's got a chance of straightening this up. The kind of angle it is, it's top jaw. It might straighten. Yeah. That's a 
we call it, what we call a reverse plant, that one. And it's one. being close together, it almost goes in the opposite direction to if there's a gap between the two balls. Goodness, what a place to finish. With the red over the hole. Well, he's a wonderful Five. potter, but he's going to have to dig one out here. This long red, he's, he's going to have to go for it. It's not beyond him to get it, but he's forced into it now, surely. Wow, what a fantastic shot. Six. And this is the kind of shot that, when he's in full flow, makes him such an intimidating player. Table here. It's is surprising that he played it that way, but I know why. He wanted to block the pocket and he missed it. Luca Brassel six. I'm surprised he was thinking about missing them after the previous shot. But you can't really say it's a bad way of playing the shot. Well, the cue ball nowhere near returning to Balk, but that doesn't mean to say it's not awkward. Spider needed. Yesterday afternoon in the John Higgins Ryan Day match, we had two consecutive shots where the spider was required. That's unusual. Always difficult to use these things. He's got to watch he doesn't pop the brown here. If he's playing safe off that red by the pink, the red's kind of going towards the right-hand corner. I don't know what else he can do. He's got to play off it. Wow, that was always the problem. It was not the initial red, but... Everything was heading over towards that brown ball. To Trump for. He actually got a good shape on the cue ball, but it's no good if you end up playing a foul. Just can't get started at the moment, Judd Trump. Happy to play shots where his cue ball is not under control. Chipping this red in the middle. I don't think he's got any idea where the cue ball's going to finish, but he'll take his chances. Well, if he's got away with that, he's almost as lucky as when he fluked the initial red in the first frame. Kind of what I was saying, Phil, he's got a game that's conducive to being really unlucky or really lucky because he does take risks. Fortunate again. <coughs> Limited options for Trump there, but at least the one option he had, it was an obvious return to the safety of Bulk.
Yeah. Another shot you had no, no clue about, to be honest. You get the feeling Judd Trump might be getting a tiny bit frustrated. That's a clever shot. <laughs> That's exactly what he meant. Getting the cue ball at one end and the red at the other. Fire those two bolt colours. Well, this time, two pots have been left, but both of them are quite tricky. Even though this red is close to the pocket, it has to be cued well. <laughs> Cracking shot. Superb. One. I think the word superb applied to Trump's performance in their most recent encounter, Three. these two. It was in the first round of the Romanian Masters in Bucharest. Towards the end of last season, four. Trump was inspired that day, won 4 0 in no time, made a couple of centuries, two more half centuries. And that's the kind of thing he can do. When he's at his best, he looks an absolute world beater. Given his skill, his scoring power, Neil, the way he pots, the way he thinks Six. about the game, he really should have won more by now. Yes, he's been around a long time, though, Phil, and uh, there is going to come the point in his career where he's going to have to change his game Seven. a little bit. At the moment, he's all out scoring game, but as any player matures, they have to rein it in. Some of the long pots don't go in, and you have to become a little bit more streetwise. It's just the way it is. And he's at the point Nine. where he's going to have to make decisions like that soon. He's going to win a world championship. There's got to be more to his game than there is now. Ten. I think we all concur, all have fully agree that when he's in full flow, he's an absolutely wonderful sight to see. Seventeen. I think the most 18. fulsome compliment you can give him is that his best is right up there with anyone else's. Yes, I completely agree. But it comes down to what you like, what sort of standard you never go below. Because the good days kind of speak for themselves, don't they? Okay. They organise themselves. 26. You sometimes have to get through sessions of snooker where you're playing at 75% of your game. He's got to prove that he can still do that. I think it would please me more than seeing him become world champion. It's a very nice cannon. 33. He's been patient in this match so far. Luca Bacilla has made a couple of mistakes which have gone unpunished. 34. Trump is just finding his feet. But he should remember that really this is his frame ball. Played to the scoreboard. Nothing flashed. That's the right shot. He needs his frame. 41. 51 points on 41. the table. 56 divides the two players, and so a couple of snookers required by Luca Brassell. Foul. Make that three. So Trump four.
Yes, looking a lot like one all. And I think this is brewing up into a pretty good game of snooker between these two. Now that's one of the cardinal sins down at the old snooker hall. If you played a shot like that, the old timers would tut tut tut. Don't take a, a cue ball close to a pocket if you haven't got to. <coughs> the Trump's lead here is so substantial it would be hard to imagine losing the frame. But you never know. A snooker and a free ball could turn things around really quickly. Uh, it's the cell at the table is the man who needs the snookers, not him. Very much removed. And when Trump has won a frame by a mile, this is the point I really like when he starts to play these <laughs> extraordinary exhibition shots. Judd Trump just Six treated to the single blue this time. <laughs> But he's done the main thing, which was to get back onto level terms. Judd Trump won, Luca Brassell won. Welcome back to the Champion of Champions. We're still in the group stages. This is the clash between Judd Trump and Luca Brassell in Group 3. Trump has just taken the third frame with a break of 93. This is now the fourth. Trump at the table. Commentary from Phil Yates and Neil Folds. Well, he's wow. very capable of swamping any player, isn't he, when he's on song? It's pretty devastating, and it happens all very, very quickly as well. 93 break. The frame didn't last 10 minutes. 17. Eighteen. Just feel he's winding up a bit here and finding a little bit of rhythm. Can always play on the loose red, but he's eyeing up the chance of going into the bunch. He has an angle on the blue to do it. Now, has he seen a plant of some kind there? He was only looking at something. Didn't play it well, to be honest. He nearly missed the bunch when you see it. The cue ball really arced. And he caught the edge. That was not a good shot by his high standards. <coughs> Judd Trump, 23. That wasn't the best either. Just barely reaching the bulk line. I think it will go past the brown. There's not a lot of room, I have to say. Just played it to top the red and disappear up the table. Didn't think about getting on a colour at all. Bramble. Judd 
to Trump won. Walls are reasonably open here. The mistake could be costly. <laughs> or that kind of thing. What? Pay rich dividends. Yes, didn't put his hand up here, but I'd be surprised if he knew that that would even pop that red. They thread it through quite a few balls to that left corner. No, he's got to tickle him behind the colour here. Cool. Got to play it well if he does play it. Earlier on today, Corin Wilson showed a very <coughs> delicate touch in nestling in behind the green on these fast cloths. This kind of shot needs some judgment. He played it well. One. Yeah, there's almost an element of when you play it, his heart stops for a split second thinking you haven't reached. That usually means you have reached. They're so quick. That particular shot is one kind of shot that's easier the slower the cloth. Well, it's been lucky. He hasn't played it that badly, but unfortunately, he called it just a fraction too thick. And he's left a red. Just saw you were stretching One. in the corner of the table was sort of into digging into his ribs almost. <coughs> and he only played it in such a way to run through on the black, which means that he wasn't taking it at any speed and he always fancied he would get it. I said earlier in the week that these matches best of seven to get you into you know, group final Eight. or what is a quarter final, you get into a best of 11, which is a totally different game of snooker. Nine. It feels like a sprint, but there's an awful lot up for grabs if you can win this match. Fifteen. Sixteen. Now that one struggled in, didn't it? Not right behind the line of it. Not clean. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. And sometimes when you do that, it's actually a good thing because it wakes you up, makes you concentrate entirely properly. Twenty-nine. Thirty. That's over 200 points without reply now for Trump. And the tally is increasing all the time. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Yes, I said earlier on, he's, he's way overdue to win something. And you wouldn't say that about everybody, because <coughs> players don't win for a while. 44. Sometimes you think, well, they're just not going to win again. One thing you can be sure of is Jeff Trump is going to win tournaments again. 
So it's been over a year since he last lifted a trophy. It's not going to be much longer, I don't think. He's doing all the right things. 52. He's got his brother, Jack, coming around. 53. Basically, to him, all around tournaments with him all around the world. Formerly a decent player himself, so he's practicing. 60. Doing all the good things. And starting to play well, I 61. think. 61. I think Trump's in the same category as Mark Allen. We all knew that he was going to win sooner rather than later. He did last week in Daqing in China, the international championship. We'll see him tomorrow. And Trump is 68. so full of skill. You can't keep a man like him down. It's Great seven. shot to get on the yellow, wasn't it, man? Five cushions. Almost lost count of how many cushions. 73. A terrific performance so far. Good Trump 73 on the phone. It really is one way traffic. Trump in top gear. Luca Brussels only scored six points in the last three frames. Trump leads 3 1. Judd Trump in full flow is a sight to behold, and he's been in full flow the last hey, three frames. Frame five, Judd Trump to break. Trump needs one more frame to sprint into the quarterfinals. And currently, the left-hander from Bristol is on a run of 246 unanswered points. Call that safety shot too thin. Always a worry. Cube will in and out of bolt, but he's not left anything. That's a good safety shot, you know. Chad has played there. Sometimes they go a little unnoticed. The defensive shots, but if anything, it's a positive safety shot, which is put Luca Brussel in trouble and opened up the Reds. Good comeback. Might have left a red on, but he's played it it's about four inches short of absolutely nailing him to the bolt cushion. I think Judd can get to the right hand red. Yeah, he can. <laughs> he wouldn't have really deserve the in off, but as it happens, he's been a little fortunate in the way it's worked out. Drop it in red over the green hole. Could be away again here, Phil. Yes, yeah, one of those instances there where had the cue ball gone in, as you say, Neil, it would have been Six. horrible for him. But it's worked out a treat in the end. And as we've said before, when this man's in a groove, he can be devastating. Yes, yeah, devastating and pretty rapid as well. There are two, well, Seven. three of the four frames have been won in under 12 minutes, one of them was won by Luca Bussell. One 19 minute frame, everything else has been, well, not quite blinking, you'll miss it, but really fluent stuff. 12. He's played his part, but he's done a lot of sitting down in the last two and a bit frames. As you say, the point 13. tally against him is mounting, Phil. It's a point of pride that they do so. They don't want to limp over the line, stumble over it. They want to win in style and take that positive nice vibe team. into this evening. 20.
Ça, c'est là. Well, it's uh, some kind of a creature came down there, and is there any way you can stop him at the moment? Twenty-five. Well, referee Paul Collier has got many tasks. One is to dispose of insects. I don't think that was in his sort of refereeing manual, actually, when he started to do it for a living. Twenty-six. He's hit that well, hasn't he? Played it right-handed, he's absolutely perfectly on the blue. Makes the world of difference. Get that shot right all the time. Sure. 31. Needs the extension on his cue. Needs cue power, but for Jeff Trump. That is no problem. Although in this case, he doesn't <coughs> quite get a hold of the cue ball as well as is normally the case. One good thing, at least he's got the reverse angle to easily go in and out of bulk. Thirty-seven. In some cases, you might say he broke a cover, but I think he's going to try to pop this right hand red. Not quite where the cue ball and the red below it are going to go. I'm not sure. Bit of a hit and hope that, to be honest. Judge yes, Trump and he's scratching so awkwardly. He must have been off balance. His alignment might well have been all over the place. That was asking an awful lot. It appears as though Judd Trump's points with that reply tally is about to come to a screeching end. <clears throat> yeah, it's 41 minutes since Luca Brazil last potted the ball. So surely, as you say, that'll end here. after such a long time away Six. from the table now the match could still have some mileage in it especially if you can score a few here seven there's no reason why you shouldn't get right back into the frame or beyond I'm not sure 20. it could be that he actually played to flick the red away from the pink spot because the black would have been tied up behind his own spot had he not done that. That's quite good thinking. No spots were available at the time. Well, he put it a good blue. Earlier in this break into that pocket. This one is even tougher, I think. This is the kind of shot players will practice, but well, you, you, 
can miss them. Especially when there's a little demon in the back of the mind saying, if you miss this, it could be your last shot. Just one awkward red on the table for Tremp, who will be in no rush whatsoever to remove the ping from the side cushion. That's his insurance policy. His safety net. Yes, and the awkward red. For the time he needs to face it, I think the frame and match could well Six. be over. He's got a 22-point lead. These three reds with orange colours and... Managed to get over the line. It's got to finish the job off now. Fourteen. Fifteen. He was on the wrong end of a four nil defeat. In this very round, this very venue 12 months ago at the hands of Luca Bussell. A nice little spot of revenge here if he finishes it. Black will now go back on his own spot, so that's handy. And here's match ball. 22. <laughs> 23. Almost there. I think he'd be pleased with this win. He's played pretty well. He's looked dangerous. I think that's the key. And uh, there are very few more dangerous and you know, entertaining players in the game. A couple of snookers required for Luca Bussell. But that is end of match. Yeah. 28. And so this evening we've got the, well, rare prospect these days of two top-level players in their 20s going head-to-head. -head. It's Trump against Wilson. <laughs> 35. He's not been flawless, Trump, but he's not made too many mistakes. Thirty-seven. No one's better at these 40. end of frame <laughs> exhibition heroics. And then he does that. We'll let you off, Joe. Yes, we let 40. you off. Well, Luca Vettel has been well and truly trapped. Judge through by four frames to one. That is the win that completes the playoff lineup for Group 3. Judd Trump will take on Kyron Wilson for a place in the last four of the Man Betex Champion of Champions.